My name is Mrs. Shelly Abediguafo. I'm the founder and CEO of National Consortium for Voluntary Organizations, NCVO Ghana for short. Our aim is to support and to promote the NGO sector in Ghana to help them run their organizations effectively. I come from the Ashanti region and the central region of Ghana as well. I went to primary school at Patas Experimental Primary School in Kumasi and then went to Yasantua Girls Secondary School and from there I went to Mass Polytechnic to go and study secretarial course. After my course, I went to the United Kingdom. My husband is a pastor in the UK, so we moved to Barking and Dagenham. So when we moved there, I said to my, myself that this is a time for me to you know, start helping the community. So I called the, the council to find out what are the um, opportunities for me to help the, the young people in the area. Just around that time, they just um, set up a new organization called Backing and Dagenham Faith Forum, whereby um, they were bringing faith groups together to support them run their churches and their mosques effectively. So I went to their first meeting and they were looking for a secretary. And as secretary was my background, I decided to be their secretary. So I worked there voluntary for two years, developed the organization from scratch, and then the, the council realized that the, the organization had really developed very well, so they decided to give us money to run it properly. So that time they employed me as the first project manager of the Barking and Dagenham Faith Forum. So I also worked there for two years. And alongside, I had also registered my own charity called Support for the Family Organization, whereby I was helping young people and the youth. And I also helping in various charities around where I lived. So, um, working with the Barking and Dagenham Faith Forum, I realized that um, charities in the UK, they get a lot of support because I was the first point of contact. When the faith groups need support, they'll call us and they will give them support, training, fundraising, advice. I realized that they gave them a lot of support. So I came to Ghana and I realized that the support for charities in Ghana is not there. So that's the reason why we set up National Consortium for voluntary organizations to, to support these charities because as far as we are concerned charities a lot of people benefit from charities in the uk in ghana a lot of them benefit so we registered our national consortium for voluntary organizations about five years ago and in two years we launched it in the uk and 2017 october we came to ghana for the first time and we did our first training with over 60 ngos across ghana so people realized the work that they started calling us. So because I don't live in Ghana, I went back to UK. So what happened is a lot of my friends, when anyone wants to set up a charity, they gave them my contacts. So just about last year, I came to Ghana. When I went back to London, a young girl contacted me and told me that she has a project in the northern part of Ghana. So she wants me to help her. So by the grace of God, I counseled her, I mentored her. And within six months, this girl was able to run her own project called Menstruate and Educate. So, so after counseling her, to be honest, it wasn't easy for her. She didn't, she didn't even want to come to Ghana. She wanted me to come to, with her and I said to her that you can do it. So I encouraged her and she bought a ticket and she came to Ghana all the way from UK to Ghana to the northern parts of Ghana for two weeks to distribute 150 sanitary parts to girls in the northern part of Ghana and when you see the pictures and the videos and the, the, the joy of the girls receiving these um, sanitary parts that gives us you know um, hope that you know helps us to keep doing what we are doing because the impact was enormous that's a, one of the reasons why I do what I do and I'm so passionate about what I do is the impact the impact is enormous. Lives are being changed. Lives are being transformed. Our aim is to support the charity sector in Ghana. So in the next five years, we want to build a stronger non-profit sector in Ghana by training them, by counseling, by signposting. Whatever we have to do for the non-profit sector in Ghana to be strong, we want to do that. And in so doing, Maybe not five years, but in ten years' time, we want to set up a regulatory body. Obviously, we can't do it by ourselves, by the, through the, with the government to set up a re regulatory body in Ghana. My message to the young people of 
our mother land. For some reason, I attract young Most of the charities that I support are young people, and it gives me joy. You, I see the passion and the commitment of young, some of young people in Ghana. It just gives me joy. So my message to the young people in Ghana at the moment is, I believe everybody's got a talent from above. Use your talent to make a difference. Not just use your talent to get money, it's good, but use your talent to make a difference. Mother Teresa once said that a life not laid for others is not a life laid. Live your life for others and that, that is the joy of it all.